Brexit is bad, but a hard Brexit is far, far worse. We must do everything we can to, uh, if we're going to leave the EU, at least stay in the single market and the customs union. Public opinion among Leave voters is beginning to change as the facts come out, the real facts, not the lies about 350 million to the NHS. I don't regret making the decision I did to, to rebel on the night uh, and to vote for remaining, Britain remaining in the single market and the customs union. And actually, since I did that, I think there were 49 of us uh, on the Labour benches who voted that way. Uh, and since I do that, did that, um, Labour's position has come more round to the way we're, we're, we were th thinking. My constituency voted strongly to remain anyway, and uh, I've had lots of supportive messages for my stance. What's now emerging of the implications of Brexit uh, is actually confirming that they were right, to, is confirming with them that they were right to vote the way they did. Uh, and I, I, one reason my majority went up considerably in June, in um, in the election this year, uh, is I think that not only that I'm a Remainer, like the majority of my constituents, but that I was prepared to stick my neck out and rebel against the party whip on the issue, in order to as a, as a quite a, a very strong Remainer, um, and and to vote against a hard Brexit. Is and, Brexit going to happen? That's an interesting question. There is a possibility of having a rethink. I'm glad to see the big employer organisations actually beginning to spell it out. I just wish they would do more of that because they're in the best position to explain why, not just commercially for them, but therefore economically for the country and take it to a personal level, jobs. Um, they can explain why uh, Brexit is a bad idea and they need to explain that to their employees and spread that message out. Um, to, in order to um, uh, work with us, who've been trying to say this all along. Will the government survive? Who knows? Who knows? The split in the Tory party is so great, but our, what unites them is they don't want a Labour government. Uh, and I have a... F people are saying that Theresa May will hang on by her fingernails for three and a half years. But that's at the moment. It also just shows how fragile politics is in this country at the moment. Uh, you're a woman in Parliament. There's been a lot about women in Parliament, harassment. Say, what has been your experience since you've been there over the last three, three years? Well, my personal experience has not been bad, but then I'm, I'm an older an uh, older woman and I'm an MP, so I'm one of those positions in power. And th what what has happened is um, it's it's uh, exposed the abuse of power by some men, and I think it's a very much the minority of men in Parliament. Uh, but it has, ha has exposed them. And what's it? It's also exposed is that they haven't broken any rules. They haven't actually broken the law where the police should be involved. But general abuse and sexual abuse and harassment. There is nothing in our code of conduct, which is the only rules that we have to abide by, because we're self-employed, uh, there's nothing in our code of conduct about personal behaviour towards other people we work with. There's lots on financial impropriety around expenses, there's lots on conflict of interest uh, when we're speaking or making decisions on, on issues where we may be perceived to have a conflict of interest. Nothing on our personal behaviour. This was the, the Commissioner of Standards for Parliament suggested a, a an amendment to the code to to uh, say that all all MPs must behave with uh, courtesy, dignity, and respect for those they work with, uh, and that wasn't adopted. Um, I hope it is now adopted, and I hope the recent revelations will ensure that we do have a proper clause in our code of conduct, and then from that a set of rules and sanctions and a process where complainants, whether they be our staff, parliamentary staff, whether they be visitors, journalists, uh, contractors working in Parliament, where they, uh, if they are victimised, abused, assaulted, uh, that they have a proper uh, mechanism where they can be supported that independently, where they can seek advice and where they can get help to take a case and that there is a sanction against MPs who are found to be guilty.